So, I wanted to give myself a little bit of a uh, voiceover challenge, so I went onto the website formerly known as Twitter and used the artist color wheel trend with a fun little twist. Instead of drawing characters on it, we voice characters based on the color themes. So with all the suggestions, I picked two characters of each color theme, and these were the results. And let me know which ones were your favorites in the comments below. Now, let's go. Oh, simple-minded mortals. You must plan for the future. What is candy today becomes cavities tomorrow. <laughs> Why destroy when I can torture with tooth decay? <laughs> You're too late, Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> the professor is going to pay. And it's time to pay, Professor. That'll be $7.95. Oh, I'm sorry. But nobody does evil the way I do. Great idea, at your service. I have read much and more about your exploits, Commander. It is a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance. I believe I know how to overcome this despair. The words are ready in my mind, but ere I speak them, I want you to make me a promise. Be it across time or space, our promises have always connected us. And so I ask that you indulge me once more, that this won't be the end. Thank you for fighting for this world and for believing. Good morning, morning. Guess I'll wake up. Wake up, John. Go get some exercise. Unless if that floor is too cold. Oh no, not the vets! You show me a good mouser and I'll show you a cat with bad breath. So, John doesn't expect perfection, eh? But we'll show him. We'll build the perfect cat. <laughs> hey, you! Did you chop down this tree? So you're telling me you didn't see me magically pop out of the stump with, with, with the lightning and magic and stuff? D I I'm the Lorax. I speak for the trees. How dare you? Give me that. <laughs> Now I'm gonna eat this, but I'm highly offended by it. Now then, as sad as it is to say, I must ask that you, Trickstar, disband immediately. <coughs> There's still so many things I want to get done. My body is fighting me. My heart is still racing. Right now I might just be another student to him, but... If you give me a chance, I can open your eyes. I will carve my existence into your heart, Hibiki. It won't be long now. The pathway is clear. Oh, are you wishing me happy birthday? I'm so moved. Thank you, Miss Producer. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! Hello, new friend! You're sure up late. Are we having a slumber party? Where are your friends? We can finger paint, tell stories, drink fizzy fast until our heads explode and stay up all night! <laughs> oh no, 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 no! What a mess! Oh, which was the bottom? Where's the top? Oh, clean up, clean up! Oh, need a new friend! This this area is off limits! You're gonna get us in trouble! D don't you want a puppet show? I have a glitter glue! Do you like glitter glue? Googly eyes? No! No! Why would you do that? Lights on! Lights on! I warned you! I warned you! Naughty boy. Naughty boy. Shut your mouth, you mediocre clarinet player. You pretentious, insignificant artist. Your sniveling creations are worth less than a protozoan's waste. You could say we're friends, right? Acquaintances? Well, we're both invertebrates, right? You see, everything works out. I have something for you, SpongeBob. 
I've been keeping it my secret compartment. Jing! Sparkle, sparkle. Brace yourself, SpongeBob. This is my lab. And this is my laboratory! <laughs> this place was my world. When I was little, I was abandoned deep in the woods. The ones who took me in and raised me were the Pokemon who lived there. Then one day, a man appeared, claiming to be my father. That was Gethus. The things he gave me were the name Harmonia, the knowledge a king would need. Pokemon with their hearts shut so very tightly I couldn't even talk to them. And this room. I'll be outside. So I know what you're thinking. Why is that incredibly handsome hedgehog being chased by a madman with a mustache from the Civil War? Well, to be honest, it feels like I've been running my whole life. Is this too much? Am I going too fast? It's kind of what I do. You know what? Let's back up. Talk about low budget flights. No food or movies? Yeah, I'm out of here. Besides, I like running better. Well, every world has its end. I know that's kind of sad, but that's why we gotta live life to the fullest in the time we have. Jet, do you think I've been a dick to everybody? I need you to answer me, buddy, please. Please tell me I'm a good person. Just deep down, please tell me I'm a good person. <sighs> Bitch, you have been so fucking rude to everyone. Oh? Well, do you need Himeru for something? <laughs> Unfortunately, Himeru doesn't have much leisure time. Let's get back to work. Himeru wants to express his gratitude to you through this bouquet. The flowers will be happy if you'd like to place them near you. <sighs> Tatsumikasaya, Tatsumikasaya, Tatsumikasaya. Himeru doesn't want to hear that name again. It's disgusting to see that face and hear that voice. Amaki, you are always so self-indulgent. If you don't control yourself, you might get into trouble someday. Uh, uh, I'm Idia Shroud. Uh, nice to meet you. B based on the diligent nature of the King of the Underworld, I'm Igna Hyde's d dorm leader. D d just in case you didn't know. This city of flowers doesn't suit me. Wearing a mask does help me feel at ease, though. I, I have events I get excited about, too. Is that weird to you? <laughs> Happy Halloween. Why are you giving me that look? Is it so wrong to see me so hyped? Oh, Ladin, glad to have you on the show. Ladin, do you prefer Al or can we call you Din? Or how about Lottie, as in Lottie? <whistles> Come here, boy. Come on. Say. You are a lot smaller than my last master, unless I'm getting a little too big. Hold on, let me put it on the side profile. How's this look? Do I look bigger to you? Rule number one, I can't kill anybody. <coughs> so don't ask. A rule number two, I can't make anyone fall in love with anyone else. Mwah, you cheeky devil. A rule number three, I can't bring people back from the dead. It's not a really pretty picture. I don't like doing it. Excuse me? <laughs> are you looking at me? Did you rub my lamp? Did you wake me up? Did you bring me here? And all of a sudden you're walking out at me? I don't think so. Not right now. You're getting your wishes, so sit down! <laughs> here comes Grimace. Oh boy, I'm in Storyland. There's the cat with the fiddle. And the fork that ran away with the spoon. Uh, hey, can you help me get out of here? Just be careful of the sticky mines, please. Happy birthday, Grimace. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I don't understand why they made all those videos about my milkshakes trying to kill them. It's just, it's just blueberry flavored. Goodness gracious. Welcome to the show, Hasumi. Shame you can see the whole set. So be it. You've been doing this for so long. You're well prepared. You sacrifice good and innocent people in your life for your sick, twisted agenda instead of cherishing them as friends. What a pity. Ah, good morning. Is it time for breakfast yet? 
Oh my, what do we have here? She looks tasty. My lady Anzu, I see you were able to help Ritsu with his sleep. As his older brother, I have to say thank you. <laughs> well, what do you think? To go along with your childish nomenclature for power levels, this is Super Saiyan Rosé. Ah, yes. My power. My will. My very being towers over all. <laughs> now, come, Goku. You will receive your due punishments. Oh, you mean like a weenie, okay. May I take your head, sir? May I take your head, sir? May I take your head? The story's called The Ugly Barnacle. Once there was an ugly barnacle, and he was so ugly that everyone died. The end. We woo. We woo. We woo. We woo. Ah! We woo! We woo! We woo! He's just standing there. Menacingly! Get out of there, SpongeBob!